genetic engineering has been around for some years, but using it to actually repair DNA mutations that cause disease, well, that's been very hard to do. But now in a landmark study, researchers from the U.S., China, and Korea have fixed a faulty gene that causes a lethal heart condition. Medical science has known for many years that certain serious diseases are caused by genetic mutations that are passed along from generation to generation. And researchers have long dreamed of repairing those errors in DNA. The goal of preventing and permanently eliminating terrible genetic diseases, we're talking here cystic fibrosis, Tay-Sachs disease, sickle cell, hemophilia, that's been a long sought goal of medicine. That goal just took a big step towards reality with a study in the journal Nature. It involved using a sperm cell from a male with a mutation known to cause a lethal heart muscle condition. That was used to fertilize an egg without the mutation. The key was using a new gene editing technique called CRISPR that found and removed the defective gene. Then the unexpected result was that the fertilized egg used the copy of the normal gene from the mother to repair and replace the edited gene. And says the Dean of Precision Medicine at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. It worked in most of the embryos tested. The efficiency of the overall procedure was much higher than earlier. Over 70% of the embryos that were targeted were, were corrected. It just brought it much closer to prime time and being able to think about its use in, in clinical applications. But like most powerful technologies, the potential for good comes with the possibility for abuse. You don't just fix diseases. You wind up trying to improve or enhance our offspring. You try to make super babies. Who's going to guarantee access? Who's going to try and guarantee reasonable pricing? Now, another caution that both Dr. Kaplan and Dr. Schott point out is that while these embryos looked normal, they were only allowed to develop for a few days in a Petri dish. That's a long way from knowing that an engineered embryo would actually yield a normal baby. We just don't know enough about the safety on this, and, and there's lots of other questions uh, surrounding it, but it's an amazing breakthrough, and we'll see what happens. Yes, a ton of questions, Doctor. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Dr. Rath.